Right, coming up, a wife and husband, sommelier and chef, tell us about their new restaurant serving global flavor on a local level. All right, husband and wife team Emily and Michael Lynch wanted to open a little neighborhood eatery that served affordable and amazing wine and food. It turns out their new unpretentious restaurant, Il Mercado Cafe and Wine Shop, lived up to their expectations. Now, I want to start talking out about this uh, global flavor on a local level and what exactly that means, because that's your whole concept. Yeah, uh, eat global, dine local. And basically, it's the, the, the menu is food that we like to eat. Okay. And traveling, that works. Around, <laughs> traveling around a lot, we've, we've picked up different dishes Emily's picked up different dishes that she likes to, to make that we like to eat and then we we just got that concept put it on the menu and then we decided you know we can go I from can't there. really decide what to make I love French I love Italian I have some German Austrian in there even Yum. Norwegian so I said you know what let's do all the good stuff and combine and it. and so. actually what what is it that you brought Today. today, what we have is a pork belly. It smells so it's, good. Uh, it's actually the same cut as bacon. Okay. And some people are uh, a little afraid of that because it might be kind of fatty. But I cook it very slowly in the oven uh, with some chicken stock and braise it, and a lot of the fat already melts oh, away. It's delicious. Oh my gosh. And you know and what? Then, you, you said something neat. You said um, you can never decide what to cook. Yeah. But that's kind of the beauty of your restaurant is that you're constantly changing the menu, though. You're, exactly. you're picking things that maybe are seasonable, seasonal, or, or fresh. And well, fresh we, and we, what we can get, yeah. It does change a lot. We'll change at least two or three menu items a week. And we'll have our specials running every day, too. And that, uh, basically, if I'm going to get a, some nice wines in, I'll talk to Emily. She'll say, well, I can do this, this, this with that. And then so we, mm -hmm. it just keeps steamrolling like that and just keeps going. And we have new dishes, new wines and every week, every day. I, you know, the, the thing that's really nice about your wine list, too, is it, it really is affordable. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a, it's value-driven wine list. And 85% of the wines that we have on the list are there because they pair specifically with with items on our menu or items that we like to use ingredients that we like to and use. I mean, menu. I'm sure too. You're willing to offer that help when people are selecting their menu, always, their always. food dishes. Yeah, you can oh, yeah. help them pair items because, oh, yeah. I mean, I know I like to enjoy the wine, but I don't necessarily know how to pick it properly. Yeah, the whole staff there. Actually, everybody that works in the restaurant is a uh, we're all wine and food geeks, you know. So. <laughs> So <laughs> but that's we, a good thing. It, it is, is a good thing. It is. So we, Definitely. everybody knows what's going to go best gotcha. with what, and so we do enjoy helping out the customer. Okay, so talk to me a little bit about uh, the items that are going to be on this fall menu. I know you said it's mm -hmm. not necessarily seasonal. You might end up, you know, reprinting that menu like once a week, once, once every week. two weeks. Definitely, we have an idea, something we want to try out. So um, what are the what are the flavors of fall, so to say? Well, one dish I have on there specifically for fall is the ravioli. I okay. change the Ooh. filling uh, at least four times a, a year. Well, we'll see about that. But I have a butternut squash ravioli, and I have the ingredients here. Um, it's very light. Uh, I used steamed butternut squash, oh. uh, ricotta cheese. I put a little nutmeg, salt and pepper, and a little white bread so it won't get too moist. Okay, anyone else's stomach growling right now? And yeah. I mean, this is super fresh. I mean, you are making this ravioli. You're yes. also... It's a, it's a lot of work, actually. It so is. We've changed it to only appetizer size because okay. uh, we make our own pasta as well. Um, a very simple recipe, just okay. for example, one cup of flour and two eggs. That's all you need. And that feeds about two people with ravioli. As you see here, we've rolled some out. Okay. Just roll it very thin. And then uh, we use a stencil okay. and uh, put our filling in, We, the top on there. Why do I have the go. feeling if I tried this at home, it would not at all look it, like yours? This well, looks amazing. Once or twice, and you got it down. It's not that hard. It's just <laughs> and a lot actually, of work. you have some of the finished ravioli back here. Yes, I do. That's yeah. been cooked up, and what have, you, what have you mixed it with? Well, we serve it with a brown butter, okay. which um, basically you just heat the butter until it turns a nutty brown color. Then we add um, pecans okay. or walnuts, whatever you wish. I like pecans at the moment, actually, since we have them anyway. Yeah, I love I also, the flavor. Um, I add some shallots. Okay. Let's turn up the heat a little bit here. And uh, and then once it turns the, the brown color that you like, we squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice. And oh that stops goodness. it from from browning any further. And this is filled with the butternut squash? Yes, exactly. And oh. ricotta, yeah. Oh and a little gosh. bit of Parmesan on top, not too much, so it dilutes the flavor. And, and there you go. 
All right, all right. This looks excellent as well. It looks like you've put it on top of corn. Is this corn? Am no, I actually, mistaken? those are red lentils. I was They're mistaken. not very red, but they are red lentils. That's what they call them. I'm not sure why. Okay. But um, we cook up uh, the lentils with some garlic and some scallion. And uh, we deglaze it with a verjuice, actually. Oh. Verjuice, which is. Um, Unfermented grape juice, I believe. All it's right. Wonderful. We are going to keep cooking this, and when we come back, we are going to taste this delicious concoction. You can see the, the address and, and the phone number 954 457 3700 on your screen. This looks so good. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much to Emily Michael Lynch from Il Mercado Cafe and Wine Shop in Hallandale Beach. We've got some pork belly here. Ladies, we have butternut squash okay. ravioli. I'm digging it. Oh, I've got oh, some say no hands more. on it. And it looks amazing. Martha's next. Bye, guys.